Food security is absolutely essential because the, the first thing that a human being needs other than air is food. And that provides a foundation for their ability to grow and be productive individuals. There has been rapid economic growth the last 10 years in Africa, on average 5 to 6 percent growth. We just simply cannot afford uh, asking for food aid or begging for food for the, I mean, at this stage of human development. Africa is the most susceptible to variations in agroclimatic conditions. But clearly, the change in is exacerbated that problem. Uh, large parts of Africa are expected to be dry than they already are. And in the rest of the continent, the variability in weather conditions will be expected to increase dramatically. Uh, and so uh, it will exacerbate the problems of food security in the continent. Millions of people are gripped with hunger. Millions of people are in food insecurity, hunger, sometimes starvation. It's a sad feeling to in, in a continent of plenty, uh, naturally endowed, to see tents year after year of feeding centers, year after year of starving children. And it's solvable. Okay, okay. Nikembonga yok rana or tuhu, Nagik dola do, entele a yok, a yok, a nerdo. Kerana sanaba as is eighteen, no, and Kishore, the Amutin Kishala me, ne Niki Yolo, Kage or an abbey in the Rundurre, Nessa idea yok, Rigid and Nanila John Dry, I do Misha Yoma, Rayolana Sia in a link, I'm Niki Yolo Naba bag in terror. The first step in expanding Africa's food security is going through expansion of rural infrastructure particularly. It has abundant arable land, but this land is not in production. If you have a community that has adequate access to nutrition, that community will also have the ability and the energy to produce more food, but also to diversify the activities into other economic areas. The long-term objective of this farm is to ensure that the income that is uh, derived from, from this farming is actually sustainable. We, we want to create a society that is self-sustaining through agricultural sustainable practices. The solutions have to be coordinated. It's not any one thing. What if you grow a whole lot more food, but then you can't store it and get it to market? the extra food isn't going to feed anybody extra. So we need to be looking at the whole chain of production, supply, distribution here. We need to be looking at the empowerment of the women farmers. We need to be looking at the level of resilience communities have to what are increasingly frequent and more severe climate events. <laughs> The role of women in food security, particularly in Africa, is profound and is critical. Women are the producers, the marketeers, the preservers of food. If women have the same level of education, the same level of access to food assets, the yield in food crops is likely to be 20% higher. Women's empowerment in the area of food security ensures 
that the nation stands a better chance of being fed. One of the most basic needs of human beings is to have food. And most importantly for our development as people, we need nutritious food. If we don't have those basic building blocks, it's very hard to progress human development. A hungry child cannot learn. Hungry adults cannot be productive. They can't be engaged in their society. So meeting people's needs for nutritious food is so basic to human development. If you don't have infrastructure, you won't have markets because markets are about moving goods, services and ideas. And to move goods, services and ideas, you need transportation networks, you need communication channels, and you need the ability to store produce and process it. It's a very bright future for these people. Once you have land and you have water, everything else is within reach. We are not fated to starve, or we are not fated to have food insecurity. With dedication, with coherent policy, food insecurity is solvable. The ingredients are there, the technology is there, the science is there. So it's a harsh paradox for us to have such kind of surface in underground water, to have such kind of natural endowment, and not to be able to face and change the reality. It's possible to change the reality. Thank you.